Hello, I just wanted to do a quick video on an application I've been using for some time now. Uh, it's actually a replacement for the Microsoft RDP program for OS X, which I really didn't get along with. It used a lot of memory, it was very slow, and actually crashed quite a lot of the time as well. So I searched around the internet some months ago and came across this product called Cord, which is for OS X, which is just a direct RDP client replacement. If I just go ahead and run that, you can see that it opens a window and within that window down the left hand side here you have like your server pane and from within the server pane you can actually create connections to new servers. So you just give it a name, put your IP address or the host name in there populate your username, password and domain if you want to, you can save that information and then you can go down and start defining your session preferences for your RDP session right the way down to disks and printers and audio and all the usual things that you'd expect to see in the RDP client. Once you've put all of that information in you can just close that down and then you can go right ahead and start connecting to these various machines. I've got one here just double click that it's going to connect me straight up and connect me straight into my Windows 7 desktop over RDP you can hit full screen and that will actually go full screen if you hover around I've actually got a monitor above this so it makes it a bit difficult to catch on to it but if I just Grab that there, go to view, exit full screen, that will take me back to where I was. So you can pretty much resize this and use it exactly how you want to. And that's the windowed mode, or we can go back to unified mode, which takes us back here where we can actually skip in between different RDP sessions that we've actually got set up at the time. If you go to the preferences, there's some various preferences in here as for defaults and doing updates etc. What, what drives and, and areas of the file system you want to actually share within your session and some of the resolutions and you can add your own in there as well. You can use a SOX proxy and you can do some logging as well, so just some basic preferences there. Checks for its own updates. I'm on 0.5.4 at the moment. And the rest of it is kind of standard stuff. Toolbars, show hide toolbar, you can customise the toolbar. You can show the RDP connection in the finder. And you can zoom and do the various normal things that you can do from within an application. You can hide that list there and just have it like that, or you can actually come back here and start flicking between your sessions again. Uh, it uses a, a lot less memory than the Microsoft RDP client for OS X, and is definitely a lot more reliable than the Microsoft RDP client. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I thought I'd just pass that information on to those of you that might find it relevant or useful, and if you've got any information like this that you'd like to pass back then let me know I'd be grateful to hear it I've dropped the links to the application in this file here they've got a Twitter page that you can follow them on and the actual web page for downloading the application on sourceforge.net it's completely free so a pretty good application uh, for, for no money whatsoever